Eli I think Elias inside. Okay. And then Wael. Wael came once or twice? He came twice. I was back on the second time. Oh. Who knows yeah. when? Yeah. This is just, are you filming now? Arabic or English? <laughs> Tunisian? So, in Arabic or in English? Whatever you feel. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in Arabic. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in Arabic. I'm not sure if I'm going I know I enjoy the language of Arabic also. Um, and I needed help with that. <laughs> Me Frank Jalad. I was born in Lebanon, in Beirut, but uh, my father's Palestinian. He was born in Jerusalem, and my mother's Syrian. Esmi Iskandar, from Tunis. I was born in Syria. I was born in the first in 2012. My name is Hana Dogri. I was born in Tarabalus. Uh, my father is Libyan, and my mother is American. My name is Fadwa. I am an educator. Grew up in Chicago, was born and raised there. Uh, born and raised to, uh, by Palestinian parents. My name is uh, Mel Shaiboub. Was born in France, in the suburbs of Paris, from Algerian parents. But I grew up in Mexico mostly, so I have a very weird identity and background. Well, I was born in the Philippines, but I, uh, I came here at the end of World War II. So my name is uh, Lucas Salumi. I'm half French, half Lebanese. Uh, my mother is French, my father is Lebanese. My name is Wafa. Uh, I came into the United States in 1996. I um, work for Green Library in Stanford. I am a, a library specialist. Currently I work um, in, actually in finance, in a, in a company in San Francisco. So currently I work with middle school students and elementary in the arts. I'm a postdoc. I'm a, I do research in neuroscience and fear, anxiety, yeah, at UC Berkeley. I am an uh, administrative assistant um, as well as a personal chef. I teach uh, several subjects. I, te I teach biology, uh, epidemiology, I, uh, I physiology, I, I teach environmental microbiology. A software engineer for a company that builds software for insurance companies. Uh, I am a scientist. Um, I came here to do my PhD at Berkeley and uh, I graduated in 2011 while well, I've been working at UCSF. Yeah, I, I grew up playing the violin um, and then I played, uh, I learned guitar and bass and drums when I was in college. I play a lot of groups and uh, the big groups in, uh, in Morocco with the Andalusi group, uh, it's famous. حاجات كما رايس أساسي ده بتاعي بتاعي بلعب مع موسيقى الأندلسية مون 
صلى يا صلي يا سلم دائما أبدا على حبي بك خير الخلق كلي مي مولا يا صلي يا سلم دائما to learn the language, I wanted to learn to sing, although I can't, I, I'm not a very good singer. And Then there was an ad in, or a, an article in the Arab Cultural Center newsletter that said that they were starting up a, a singing group at the Arab Cultural Center and uh, they were also going to do Debki. Uh, my first introduction to Arabic music was through Nabila, but not Aswat. She set up a uh, uh, Dumbek or Tabla class at uh, the Arab Cultural Center. And so I went and there were about f five or six people there. There was a woman named Mimi Spencer and she played Kanun and there was Nabila Mango who was the um, um, the boss. Um, okay, Fatih, yeah. do you want to interview more people? Yeah. Okay, okay. time we are attending every single concert that they have since I think 1995. And it's a great opportunity to meet people, uh, to network. We, we know a lot of the people who are here and they are from uh, all over actually. There are Americans as well, people who don't speak uh, Arabic but who enjoy the music. It was a sellout crowd today. People were on a waiting list that had to go home because they did not have tickets, we didn't have available chairs for them. There was a little boy, he must have been about nine years old, I couldn't believe it. He was singing every song. For a little boy, it must be his mom and dad bringing out the best in him. Aswat brings out the, the kids in us, the adults in us, the men, women, and everybody, from my great-grandfather to, you know, the grandchildren. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi, 
Mary Allen.